on social media and the bad influences and this, that, and the other. It's a contradiction. He knew exactly what he was doing when he made that video, made that song. So for me, no, I cannot separate the artist from the antics because it, that's kind of like saying, all right, you know, you're a great artist. You do this. So I'm, um, I'm going to overlook all this nonsense because you're a great artist and all that other stuff that you do. I, I can't do it. So going back from the, the parent standpoint, I can agree with that. You not wanting your kids to be on TikTok. You know, a lot of parents feel that same way. They just don't want their kids on there. Right. And because he's in a spotlight like that, it damn near makes your kids a target. So I, I get that part of it. But on the other hand, how you were saying, I hadn't even looked at the video. I've heard about it, but I heard, yeah, I look, I heard about it. Like again, what kind of message are you sending um by doing that? And again, like you say, I believe he's seriously in his feelings. He he's really doing a whole mangina type thing. <laughs> Fully. <laughs> so Oh no, that that's a hard one, really. Simply because, again, coming from the parent standpoint, I get it. But on the other hand, it, it's kind of like you're putting out that type of uh, visuals for this song that you you've done. Um, and I don't even know what the whole point of it was. Meaning, why would you put out that song and that video? Like, do you think that's going to make her change her mind? Like, oh my goodness, he did that. In exactly. this video, he killed my current boyfriend because he loves me so much. I, what? <laughs> Come on, bro. You know, goddamn well, she's not. If anything, you pushing her more into his arms. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> because you're coming from a weak point of, of um, Angle, I guess you can say that. The angle that you're choosing to try to get things back in proper perspective the way you want, you're coming at it from the wrong angle. Completely. So the best thing he could have done is just gone on by the damn business. Eventually, that shit would have fizzled out. But because you've put in so much heat on it and so much emphasis on the fact of how you feel about it, again, you're pushing her more into his arms. <sighs> Pretty much. Um, it, it, it's just crazy for him to to do that, though. I just thought that that was completely and totally unnecessary. Yeah. So, again, you on one hand, you're saying that you don't want your kids. I get that. But on the other hand, you're putting out a negative uh, influence. So it's kind of like you, you're, you're creating your whole scenario. No one... Did that to you? You did that shit on your own. Yeah. Now you you mentioned his father not being in his life. Um. Ah, I, I can't. Me personally, from my right. life experiences, if I can compare my life growing up to him. I can't even give him a pass on that, like at all, because my father wasn't around. I'm not out here wilding, wilding out doing stupid stuff like that. Have I done retarded stuff um, in my life? And when it's come to females, yes, I have. But this dude is going overboard. And I just can't, I can't sit there and be like, oh, because your mother was the stability. And now that she's gone, now you cut the hell up and now you're acting crazy i would i would venture to to think and 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 for whatever fiber in me would say if your mother was that much of a an influence in your life then that those val whatever values she passed on to you 
should should outweigh all the BS in the world. But somewhere along the line, this dude.